hello everyone today in this tutorial we are gonna discuss about bill tagging bill tagging means you can tag outstanding bills and its benefits are you can generate collection list customer wise area wise route wise salesman wise etc or you can say you can tag outstanding bills MR wise route wise party wise etc you can generate group wise collection list you can generate day wise collection list you can give tag bills to your MR to collect payment and you can load received payment in single click and save the time now let's see how to use bill tagging option in mark software for that you have to go to books menu then select outstandings and now from here you will select bill tagging as you click on bill tagging a window will appear in front of you first is tag index means here will select in what index we have to tag the bill you can tag index according to party plus bill bill number party without index and add in tag so right now from here I'll select party plus bill then select tag for means for whom you wanna tag one by one party wise MR wise root wise etc so from here we'll select party wise after this we'll select company whether to tag for all or selected so here we we'll select all next is as on date means bill tagged as on what date after that next is report date and here report date and as on date should be same so that when we take print out the same date should be printed on the invoice now after that you will see there are two ways to set collection payment days first way is if customer gives the payment on the particular day so here you will select that day like Monday Tuesday Wednesday etc and the second way is if customer says that they will give the payment in between the particular number of days like 15 days 20 days 25 days and so on so here you will define that number of days now the next option is billing day it means on which day you do the billing so here we'll select it as all next is bill from and bill to it means from which date to which date bills you wanna tag next is whole or overdue it means whether you wanna tag whole bills or overdue bills after that next is post dated checks it means if you wanna tag with post dated checks then we'll select with otherwise we'll take less after that you will see the next and the last option is negative amount it means if you wanna add credit note in list so here you will select yes otherwise from here you will select no suppose from here I'll select yes and then click on ok now you will see the amount which is showing with minus sign it means it will also add in bill tagging and if you set no here and now you can see it will not add that amount in bill tagging then click on ok and now from the ledger select the ledger that you wanna tag in for example from here I'll select Ahuja Medicine Center by pressing enter key then select Bilal and Sons select Narala Pharma Pankaj Pharma and then select Saluja Medicine Center now press escape key after that press tab key and now you can see tag window will appear in front of you where first field is tag number and this tag number software will generate automatically after that next field is date and here you will specify that date on which you are going for collection and after that next and the last field is issue 2 and here will mention the name of MR 
who will collect the payment. For example, we enter here Mr. Ajay. Now press enter and then accept. And now you can see at the top right of the window, here it's showing you tag number 120 update. It means it has updated tag number 120. Now after that, we'll press Alt P. Now as you press Alt P, reports window will appear in front of you. And now from here, you will select collection list. And now from here, if you want to print contact name or phone, so here you will select yes, otherwise from here you will select no. Similarly, if you want to print last receipt detail, so from here you will select yes, otherwise from here you will select no. And the same way if you want to print ledger balance, so from here you will select yes, otherwise no. Now you can take the print, but if you want to view the preview of it, then we can also view by clicking on view button. And now you can see it will show each and every whether grand total, total number of bills, etc. Now press escape key and come back to the main menu. Now after that, let's see how we can update all the collection in Mark Software. For that, you will go to accounts menu and now from here, you will select checks cash. Or you can also press Alt U for the same. Now press Enter. As you select the checks cash option, a ledger window will appear in front of you where four ledgers will be displayed shown to you. That is Bank of Baroda, Cash, Cash Discount and Short and Excess. Whatever the entries to be made by checks will be entered in bank and whatever the entries to be made by cash will be entered in cash ledger. Cash discount is basically given here. If any party has done the payment before the payment date, then we can provide him discount in order to give him as regard. Next is short and excess. If some party has done the payment of rupees 2900 and the actual payment amount is rupees 2903 then we'll put rupees 3 in short and excess field similarly if party had done the payment of rupees 2910 then rupees 7 is to be put in short and excess field now let's see its entry first we press enter on bank of baroda now we'll put entry number like we enter 001 and then we'll enter tag number. Now as you can see here, it's showing you pending tax window. Where it's showing you tag number, value, bills, issue date and name. So now in the tag number field, you will define that tag number which bills you want to load. So for example, we enter 120. Then it will show all the bills tagged in Bank of Baroda with bill number and party name. If you want to add bill number, then you can add the bill number manually. And if you don't know the bill number, then you can press right arrow key and you can only enter the party name. Like we select Pankaj Pharma, then enter the check or DD number, then date, amount and short if any. So in this way, we can do the adjustment. Similarly, we select next party, like we select Saluja Medicine Center. Now suppose here, this party do the payment in cash. So for that, you will press right arrow key, then enter date, and then enter the amount in amount field. And then adjust it. And now here you can see it's showing you cash. Now after that you can see at the above that some of the bill where we didn't mention any value. We can return them by pressing plus key. So they will again goes back to outstanding. So now press end key to save it. 
if you want to view it then you can view that and if you want to print it then you can do the same so friends in this tutorial you have seen how to use build tagging option in marksoft view thanks for watching the video